Hello, my name is Bill Ray. I'm with Alumni Financial Services out of Seminole, Florida. I've been in the finance and the business world for well over 30 years. And today's topic is Medicare drug benefits. This is a huge topic that we really don't have enough time to go in in full detail. So we're going to kind of cover this as quickly as we can and give you a good brief idea. Prior to January 1st, 2006, life was fairly simple in the uh, Medicare uh, market. Prior to, to that date, uh, most seniors who have been around would know that Medicare uh, really didn't have any drug coverage at all. So in those days, you had your traditional Medicare, as they now call it, and you had a Medigap or a supplement policies, in which uh, some of those Medigap policies obviously contained some type of drug benefit. Uh, for prescriptions that doctors would write. Not, we're not talking about drugs in a hospital, obviously. After January 1st, 2006, the world has become a little bit more complex. You now have Part D. You now have Advantage plans. You still have supplements that cover prescription medicines. All of these can be confusing at first glance. However, with a little time and a little patience, you can figure out what's best for you. My advice to you is check out the website www.medicare.gov or www.eldercare.gov. Those are two websites that will explain this program in depth. Briefly, Medicare Part D allows seniors to have prescription medicine coverage. Um, starting from zero dollar, there's a, a gap in there after a certain amount of, of coverage and then of course there's catastrophic coverage. So it boils down to you know, there are four types of plans on the market now. You have your original Medicare with Medigap insurance that we've known all along. Uh, if you have retiree or union coverage, careful. If that's still in, still in effect, keep it. Uh, that has drug benefits a lot of times. Uh, you now have in many of the heavy markets Medicare Advantage. And, of course, you have Medicare Medicaid. It all boils down to what I call the three C's upon you. Cost, coverage, and convenience. Only you can answer those. So when you go to those websites or you're going to some of these seminars that are out there or you're hearing information on the Medicare drug plans, do understand that the government website spells it all out. Then you have to decide what's best for you. What's the most convenient? What are the costs involved? Is it something that I want to pay or can I lower my cost by looking at a different plan? And of course, it all boils down to your personal choice. So take your time, go to the websites, read. After a little while, it isn't that difficult. My name is Bill Ray, and as always, we're here to help you build true wealth.